Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariana and today I'm bringing to you the April plan with me. For this month, I'm going to change things a little bit up. So I will be walking you through how I put together the cover page and, and also a very special spread in the end of this month. All the other spreads in between, they will be already complete, but that will allow me to share with you the inspiration behind this theme, some context and some more information about the artist and the artworks represented on these spreads. So I hope you enjoy this month and let's get started. For April, I decided to do a crowded gallery wall. As a history of art student, I love buying stationery related with art. A while ago, I came across a set of washi tapes from AliExpress that showcased some artworks by the Czech artist Alphonse Musha. Obviously, I decided to get them, as they also came in various sizes. In the last few months, I have been waiting to have an idea that would do justice to the subject. The idea and inspiration for this theme came from the oil painting by François-Joseph Ain, entitled Charles X Distributing Awards to Artists Exhibiting at the Salon of 1824 at the Louvre. In this painting, you can see the abundance of artworks on display, packed very closely together, almost floor to ceiling. The crowded display of art goes all the way back to the 17th century and to the French salons. The first salon was established in 1670 at the Royal Academy of Painting and Sculpture in Paris. Their exhibitions were semi public and showcased the artworks of the recently graduated students of the Fine Arts School. Initially, only aristocracy had access to art, and it was just in 1737 that salons opened up to all public making the enjoyment of art and activity accessible to everyone. So, to achieve this look, I jam-packed my pages with different sizes of washi tapes. Then, I used some of my tumble dual brush pens and a sharpie to add some more life into my sprites. As usual, you can find all items used in this theme in the description of the video. To add some of the elegance of the art world, I decided to use mostly a gold pen to complement the artworks. Alphonse Musha was a Czech painter, illustrator and graphic artist. He was born on the 24th of July 1860 and died on the 14th of July 1939 at the age of 78. Musha lived in Paris during the Art Nouveau period, which was especially popular between 1890 and 1910. He quickly became a name of reference of this art movement. Art Nouveau was an international movement and one of its major objectives was to break down the traditional distinction between fine arts, especially painting and sculpture, and applied arts. This art movement embraced organic themes, natural forms and sinuous curves, giving a sense of movement and dynamism to the flowing and elegant designs. As a versatile movement, its manifestation was present in painting, architecture and decorative arts. It was widely used in interior design, graphic arts, furniture, glass art, textile, ceramic, jewelry and metalwork. My calendar page follows the crowded gallery appearance. 
To create this page, I started by setting up my calendar, which has a 6x6 of spacing for each square. After that, I spent some time playing around with the different washi tapes until I was happy with their placement. To add an idea of a gold frame, I made a line in gold around each washi tape. The mood tracker of this month is absolutely stunning. In April, my mood will be worthy of being exhibited and framed. I'm excited to see how it will look like in the end of the month. Since I started journaling, I decided on a set of colors to represent my mood. I will be making a video talking about the practice of bullet journaling and I will explain how I do it and other ways you can explore it. For the habit tracker, I kept the mini calendars format. Later, I will be adding the name of my habits in these colored strips. In April, as the month starts on a Friday, I decide to make the same layout for the first two weeks. The artworks on week 1 and week 2 are a collection of different art pieces made for distinct occasions. Two of them were made as advertisement posters and other two as art posters. Unfortunately, I'm not sure about which type of poster the artwork on the middle of the spread is. The first artwork on this weekly spread makes reference to the poster for Moet and Chardon dry imperial made in 1899. You probably have already come across another version of this poster, as it exists in several versions. For this poster, Musha chose to depict a brunette with classical features, wearing a high neck dress and ornate jewelry in order to capture the distinct taste of Moet's dry champagne. Apart from the number of posters, Musha also worked with Moet Chandon on catalogs, postcards and other promotional material. The second artwork is called Reverie and it was made in 1898. This lithograph was originally designed to serve as the 1898 Champignon Company calendar. Due to its immediate popularity, this artwork was published by the magazine La Plume as a decorative panel with the title Reverie, which means they dream. The title of this artwork matches perfectly Musha's design as it shows a dreamy-eyed young woman going through a book of decorative designs. The prominent disc behind her has an elaborate decoration with flowers and a lace-like pattern formed by the flower stems. The first artwork of week 2 is a panel which recalls the poster Musha designed for the dancer Ligi in the same year, making it likely to have been inspired by her. Looking at this panel, we can notice how prominent the decorative ivy foliage is. Later on, this ivy panel was produced as decorative metal plates. The second artwork of week 2 makes reference to the poster for Cycles Perfecta, made in 1902, for the British company of the same name. Through the use of the stylized golden hair, Musha lends a sense of motion to the composition, capturing the freedom and exhilaration associated with riding a bicycle. Week 3 is focused on a colored lithograph called Flirt, which was made in 1899. This was another of Musha's advertisement posters and I would like to give you some more context regarding it. With the advancement of printing technology, the standard of colored lithography was improving and by the 1890s, advertisement posters had a strong presence in the visual culture of Paris. Due to their strong presence, Musha created posters for cultural events, railway services, and also for a variety of consumer products, such as perfume, cigarette paper, beer, champagne, chocolate, biscuits, as well as bicycles. In 
In week 4, the artworks represented are part of a set of four art posters. This set is called the Times of the Day, which were made in 1899. Each individual poster represents a specific time of the day. Brightness of the day, morning awakening, evening contemplation and night rest. Art posters like these were very important to society. Musha's distinctive style made him a leading poster artist between 1895 and 1900, becoming synonymous with the current Art Nouveau style. Known by the public as the master of Art Nouveau poster, Musha's success also extended to the new category called decorative panels. These were posters without text, a prototype of today's art posters, designed purely for artistic appreciation and or to decorate interior walls. Week 5 showcases another set of four art posters called the Precious Stones, made in 1900. We have Topaz, Ruby, Amanestist and Emerald. In this series, women personify four precious stones and in each panel, the upper part of the composition is dominated by the female figure, while the lower part features a realistically drawn flower whose color echoes the gemstone that is representing. This lends a pleasing harmony to each image. This set is particularly special to me. My parents have a reproduction of this set in glass and it has been on display in our entry hall since I was a child. All of Musha's panels have in common a series of characteristics such as the beautiful woman with suggestive gestures, the decorative use of flowers and flowing hair, and the subtle yet striking colors. By combining all of these, Musha created a compelling harmony. The first of Musha's decorative panels were the Seasons in 1896, which was a series of four panels representing the theme of four seasons. Because it became very popular, this series was followed by other popular series, including The Flowers in 1898, The Arts 1898, The Times of the Day 1899, The Precious Stones 1900 and The Moon and the Stars in 1902. In this washi tape set, the tiniest face on it belongs to the Parisian actress Sarah Bernard. She was born in 1844 and died in 1923. Sarah was the greatest stage personality of the era and the single most influential figure in Musha's life as an artist. In 1986, Musha created his first poster for Sarah, which aimed to promote her new production, Gimonda. This commission made Musha famous as his poster immortalized the divine image of the actress, which consolidated her iconic status. 
From that date onward, Sarah made use of these designs for all posters advertising her American tours. And now, on to the flip through. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed these different formats. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you do celebrate Easter, I wish you a wonderful Easter. And to you all, I wish you a wonderful month ahead. And I will see you next time. Bye!